Well, Jason, kind of a wet start to the first NFL Sunday, at least yeah. here on the northeastern part of the U.S. Yeah, we went from hazy, hot, and humid, lots of sun, pop-up thunderstorms, to now you got this. You got just clouds. It's very gray. It's, you know, it's damp. Temps have come down. I look at Topsom there. Uh, yes, clouds continue to really just plague us tonight. They'll be humid with on and off showers. Then we're foggy with rain, heavy at times on and off this week. And the latest on Hurricane Lee now up to a major, and that was expected. So we'll get to the details shortly. Comfort factor has all of that humidity coming back in. Maybe not so much the heat, but the humidity here is very uncomfortable, especially south of northern Maine. As we get through the week, you have to deal with more in the way of humidity. Uncomfortable each day until Thursday. That's when the cold front gets here. Then finally we get down to sticky and borderline even comfortable weather. But for now, we're locked in it. 60s and 70s because of the wind out of the east and northeast. No more 80s in the forecast. Rain wise, down east, not seeing that much rain now, but heading up to the western mountains, the northern highlands, the county, and also now in New Hampshire and southern Maine, getting in on round two. We've got the stationary front. That's the focal mechanism, the trigger to get all this rain as a short wave moves along that front. Big high to our south. This H here just pumping in that humidity. So in the hour by hour, you'll notice here that not a lot of rain down south tonight, more scattered showers. Up in northern Maine, you'll get it a lot more. Eventually down east on Monday morning and during the day Monday, more rain on and off throughout the day. So watch out for flooding. Now, as far as the latest goes with the hurricane, it's still very far away from us. But here's what I know. Indirect impacts expected at the very least with high surf and rip currents. It is trending west, though, on the forecast track, which means it still could be a hit for us. I can't rule out rain and wind directly from the storm. The track of the storm will be crucial as right now it is up to 120 miles an hour sustained. That makes it a major. It will be up to a four again, maybe even a five, and it'll be west of Bermuda. That's the dot right there as a category one Friday evening. So Friday, it's not here at that time, but the threat is certainly there as that storm continues to push up north after that. I'll have a special blog on our website, newcentermain.com. Also check the socials, talking in more detail when I have a lot more time to break down the specifics of that track and the impact. So head over to the app on newcentermain.com for that. Here's the Mariners, seas two to three feet, uh, no small craft up tomorrow. Next three days, very gray, cloudy, on and off showers, temperatures in the 70s for highs. And then we break out of that Thursday late to Friday by the weekend. That's when all eyes will be on the potential for Lee to get either here, either close to here, or potentially around New England. So go to newcentermain.com, check out the social media. I've got tons of videos, explainers, blogs talking about this storm because it is a big one to our south. Definitely, Jason. Lots of uh, rain while we anxiously await the news on where this hurricane is headed. Exactly. Another update coming at 11 o'clock with new information. Cool. Sounds good. Thank you, Jason.